shoe size. Yeah. 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 Call the calcaneal block. The shoe goes down. And clamp the shoe. In the heel. And then we clamp it at the forefoot. Some shoes will be like wide enough and stuff, but whatever you do that, you know, those really won't fit in there and they don't cost you inside. But it's more of like a way you walk. Um, so just let it's actually more like We lock the shoe at 100 pounds, which is here. We clamp the shoe at the metatarsal area at 40 pounds. Now to measure the midfoot, we twist the shoe 15 degrees, and that measures in inch pounds. To measure the rear foot, we bring this back to zero. And then we press a computer here and we compress yeah. the midsole <laughs> to 100 pounds. The computer measures the depth it takes to get to 100 pounds. That gives you the cushioning and how much midfoot stability in the shoe. To measure the energy rebound, we bring the shoe We bring the shoe up to a hundred pounds. So you have a little bit of a bunion. You know, bunion, all a bunion is. And when the shoe hits a hundred pounds, and it spins a little bit. So like yeah, you have a little bit. It's not like it's going to completely. We release the lever, and the computer measures the amount of inch pounds this traveled up. Mm -hmm. And that gives you how much energy rebound in the shoe.